Hi, Stepping Stones friends. I miss you guys so much. Miss Hallie here saying hi. I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy, making lots of fun art and playing lots of games and getting outside. I'm gonna be popping in in the next couple weeks over video to share some of my favorite art activities. And as the coyotes and marmots know, I love doing art. I'm also gonna share some fun science activities that you guys can do as a whole family um, or grownups, you can help your kiddos make this science activity and there are lots of activities they can play with uh, for hours. I'm also gonna be popping in to show you some fun group movement activities as well as some fun yoga stuff. I really look forward to seeing you all again in person and doing more fun things together at Stepping Stones. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy these videos and let's get started. Okay, so the first art activity we're gonna be doing is making some sensory jars. And now the kids have these in all of their classrooms at school. And maybe you've made them before in the past. I've made them with all my students in years past and we always bring them home. They're really great, just little jars to keep either in a calm down corner or maybe by your bedside table or fun things to play with. They're also really, really great pine motor activity for um, your kiddos to make, including pouring, putting small objects in small spaces, tightening the lids, stuff like that. While this is a great activity for the kiddos to do, I highly recommend some adult supervision and they might need help with some of the things um, like pouring. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to make our sensory jars, you're going to need a jar. You can use an old plastic water bottle, shampoo bottle, uh, Talenti, um, ice cream jars that work great. I have a little spice jar that I'm gonna use today because I don't have very much plastic um, in my recycling bin. But go ahead and look through your recycling bin and find a jar with a really good lid to screw on the top. Once you have your jar, the other materials you're going to need is a little bit of water, vegetable oil, or you could use baby oil or any other kind of oil. Um, you're gonna want either some food coloring or something to color your water. I'm gonna use a little bit of watercolor paint. I'm also gonna add some glitter because glitter is awesome. And then I'm gonna look around my house for stuff to put in my sensory jar. Make sure that when you're looking for things, you ask a grown up first before putting them in your jar. So I found a cool little shark at my house and I also have some fun beads that I'm going to put into my jar to kind of make it fun. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is put a little bit of color into your water. I'm gonna mix it in my, jar, in my measuring cup before I pour into my sensory jar. So if you're using food coloring, it'll work really easily. I like using watercolor because it makes the water a little bit opaque, which makes it really fun with the oil. Okay, now really carefully, parents, this is a great fine motor skill activity for your kiddos to do, but they might need a little bit of help with things like pouring and twisting on the cap, but I really recommend letting them try it first by themselves. So very carefully using two hands, you're gonna pour your water into your jar and you want it to go a little bit higher than the halfway mark, just like that. Next, you're gonna add anything that you want in your sensory jar. I'm gonna put in my shark. Boop. I'm gonna put in a couple beads plastic beads and things like little cotton balls work really great. They float really fun. Glass beads like these ones are going to sink. Again, this is a great fine motor skill for kiddos to practice putting small items into small places. All right, next, very, oh, next you're gonna add your glitter if you want or add anything else into your jar that you don't have yet. and just a little bit of glitter will be plenty. Then very carefully, you're gonna add your oil. And you want your oil to go almost all the way to the top, pouring it very slowly. This might be a good thing for grownups to help with. Almost all the way to the top. And then you're gonna screw on your lid. I recommend gluing your lid on or taping it on but we're gonna screw it on first to make sure that we like what it looks like. Here's your jar and let's test it out. 
and there is my little potion jar. And there you have it. Once you've glued on your lid, you are ready to enjoy the jar. Again, there's lots of other things you can try putting in jars. You could try doing a solid sensory jar with things like Cheerios or rice or corn kernels, or you could try putting things like marbles or cotton balls in the jar. And it's a great fine sensory motor activity for kiddos and it's really fun and calming to look at them afterwards. Enjoy.